I mean, if you are an OG on this channel, if you've been on this channel for a while, you probably know that there's this certain videos that I do make that really caught people's attention, which is video that got to do with eBay shipping and all those, I mean, custom duties. I mean, you guys do love it and I know you guys do love it. So um, recently, I, I also experienced some issues that I, f I feel like these are things that I don't need to keep to myself. I mean, sometimes it's best I put it out there. You never know who you're helping, man. So yeah, um, I mentioned on this channel that I have some couple of orders from outside that is still coming. But yeah, the bad news is uh, the item is no longer coming. Yeah, it's no longer coming. I'm no longer going to get the item. I mean, I've got a couple of them which has to do with some lenses and all that. And there's a review coming up soon. But yeah, talking of the gimbal, um, I had a couple of gimbals starting from the Ronin SC, Ronin S and all those gimbals. I mean, I've had a couple of gimbals in the past. So I sold it and then decided to get myself the new one, which is the Mosa Air 2. I mean, I did my research. I, I watched a few reviews as well. Man, I also watch YouTube, man. <laughs> I do like almost my entire life. I'm in front of my TV watching YouTube. So I did a couple of research and reviews here and there and I decided to go with the uh, Mosa Air 2. So yeah, what happened is I was unable to go for that. I mean, I placed the order. I did make the payment on eBay. Everything was up to date, man. I think in total, I paid about um, 4,000 something and the shipping was an additional dollars. But I mean, everything was up to date and I was even hoping, yo, anytime soon, I'll be getting this gear because there's a wedding that I'm actually having in the next two weeks or a week somewhere there i was really hoping i was gonna use this gimbal to make a couple of shots and get some experience to make videos on this channel but yeah things didn't go as planned so as you guys do know these gimbals that we do use contain some batteries in there all right and some do have some heavy duty batteries i mean like the moza a2 got four cylinder batteries that each of them got a huge capacity in there and these are lithium ion batteries or so if ever you are buying something on ebay I think it's best you guys also make your inquiries because not every item will be allowed to, to be shipped to you, okay? Not every item is allowed to be shipped outside a particular country. So here's the thing. A lot of items can be shipped, yes. Things like phones, you stand a high chance because, I mean, you cannot do away with the batteries. But not all the phones. Some phones that contains heavy, I mean, big batteries will be bounced. You will not be able to bring in these phones or, I mean tablet laptops you will be able to ship the item but there will be a problem down the line okay the seller will be, will be able to ship the item to you but it's gonna get to a point where the item will be stuck okay you're not gonna get this item in the process so what happens is once the seller hand the item to the courier company or whoever that is going to be shipping the item to you they will check um the capacity of the item well they do know what you are shipping to them they do know what you are giving them for them to send to the, the buyer so they will check if the capacity is over i mean i think there's a specific capacity that they do check so i'm not sure what the limit is but with the gimbal that i bought it had a huge i mean amount of battery capacity because it was actually four of them we're talking about this type of batteries but four type and not just four type the, the battery that the gimbal uses is a little bit longer than this one that you see in it's it's a bit longer and it contains a huge amount of, I mean, uh, battery power there. So I'm not sure why the limitation, probably maybe it can, I mean, cause some issues in the shape or plane or whatever it is. It can catch some fire. I don't know what the reason is behind this whole logic. But yeah, if you are buying something from eBay and it contains a huge amount of power, especially with cell phones, because these days they're making big battery capacities and all that just be aware just know what you're buying know okay hey would they be able to send this through just be sure because if you don't the seller will do his part of sending you the item it will get to customs and then once they verify anything and see that no this battery is huge we cannot ship it i don't know how this happens but along down the line they will just reject the shipping and you won't be notified you will think that the item is still coming it's on its way you wait months years and still nothing happens so when it happens like that and you wait until the estimated delivery date you need to lodge a complaint to ebay lodge a complaint and tell them okay um you guys offered me 17th of february the item will be in but i've waited until this long and the item is still not in 
so you go to ebay and then you check um, item not received and then once you hand it to ebay ebay will investigate the situation and they will be able to tell what actually happened to the parcel whether it was stuck in transit it got broken whatever happened but normally they say it's got broken i mean along the line which is not the, i mean the case the case is the item that you are shipping into your country contains a huge amount of battery so that is something that you guys must take into consideration if it has to do with normal stuff like lenses um hard drive clothes shoes you find to buy that on ebay but when it comes to electrical gadget like um cell phones tablet um laptops cameras well at least camera you can take away the batteries and um get another one when it arrives in your country so i think cameras you can do away with it because normally they send a message if it has to be a camera they send a message to the i mean the person receiving the item that hey we got your parcel here but there's a battery in there um should we take the battery out or we must just send the item back to the person or whatever happens they will still refund you so i think you guys must take i mean these cases into consideration whenever you are buying something on ebay and i really believe it's gonna help you very much i mean um i know my videos always help you man so yeah uh thanks a lot for coming here guys today i wanted to make everything short it's just more like a mini update so thanks for coming the name is director babe if you are new on the channel please do me a favor click on the subscribe button it's free it doesn't cost a thing i will catch you guys in the next one be safe peace